Hi, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to talk about Skype in OBS and how you can use NDI to record your call, podcast, or even live stream a recording of an interview with OBS, all with free tools. To get started, why would you want to do this? Well, right now with Corona not being able to go outside much, or maybe you want to interview someone who is simply not in the city and can't travel to you. Of course, there are many more reasons why you want to do this, but I'm now here to actually just show you how you can set up Skype with NDI to record directly into OBS. In my last video, I actually already talked about how you can use NDI to actually make use of your camera on your phone or capture your display of your phone in OBS or use it as a webcam. That is all completely for free in terms of the software that is needed to actually be able to do that. And that makes this really, really powerful. Now we are actually going to talk about how you can integrate Skype with NDI into OBS so you can actually make use of this in many different ways. A couple of different ideas are that you can actually have a podcast guest in Skype and you can have an interview recording with you two in a split screen left and right. But you can also make it so that you have different camera angles so that you have one person shown big on the screen and the other one smaller in a corner. And of course, you may also be able to use multiple people in this way. One more way you can utilize this is actually that you can record yourself and the person on the other end with Skype and record those full quality 1080p next to each other. And then in the aftermath, you can actually edit that together. So you don't have to worry about which camera needs to be visible, which needs to be hidden. All those transitions you can do after the fact. And I'm going to share a method how you can actually achieve that as well in this video. Now let's jump over to the screen and set you up for recording and live streaming Skype interviews. So now you can see on the screen, we will obviously need Skype. We will need OBS and also the OBS NDI plugin. Please make sure that you have the OBS and Skype latest version installed. And I will have links to those in the description below as well. Now with the OBS NDI plugin, it is actually quite important that you follow the installation instructions. So go to the Go download page. Now going to this link, we will actually see that there's only a Ubuntu package. But if we go to code and then to releases, we will actually be able to scroll down to the one that I am looking for, which is 4.9.0, which is also including the releases for Windows and Mac OS. In here, please follow the installation instructions, which also include for Mac OS and Windows, the NDI runtime, which you will have to install. Now there we can go to assets and then download the Mac OS package or the Windows installer, depending on which system you're on. After you have done that, please install those and that's fairly standard. And then once you are done with that, you can go back into Skype. In Skype, we go to preferences. Inside the preferences, we actually go to calling. There we have advanced. And in advanced, we have allow NDI usage. And with that, we click yes. There you can also choose the Skype watermark, which position you want to put it in top left, top right, depending. And then we can close this window. Now we will actually have to make a call or receive a call. And I have an iPad right here, which I will be making a call with, waiting until it actually connects. And we are going to pick up, of course, and we're muting all the microphones. So as you can see, we have a Skype connection right here on the screen. And with this call set up, we can actually now go to OBS. And inside OBS, we can say new source, NDI source, name it whatever you want. And here we can select that there is a MacBook Pro local Skype. There's a MacBook Pro local and an active speaker. So depending on which one you want, you can choose your own, you can choose your guest, or the active speaker, which it would automatically switch for you. I'm going to choose the source of that specific speaker themselves. And with that, you will notice that you also can choose multiple people. So you cannot just do this with one person, you can actually do this with multiple people and have a whole grid of people set up. Then we choose highest, low experimental, I choose that normally. Click OK. 
And with that, you have this NDI source up there. Now, if I go into Edit Transform, you can see that this is actually fairly low quality. However, I do presume that this is actually because of the device that I'm using as the source, which is a relatively old iPad. So with that, you can see I now have this source here available. And that actually basically gives you everything that you need. Now, if I unmute myself here, you can also see that you have the Skype input as a audio source directly here inside of OBS. And of course, if you rename that source based on the guest name or whatever you want, you can actually do that as well. Now, it can be interesting to have the person separated from each other in one scene, but you can also have yourself set up as well. So if I go in here and for example, say I want to also have a video capture device, and with that, I would like to use the FaceTime camera built in, highest possible quality. Then I have this here as well, transform, fit to screen, cut certain parts, and put this, for example, right there, and the other one here. So now with this very basic setup, you would have two people set up right next to each other, yourself and the other person. Now, this is great for live streaming. You can actually set up multiple scenes with different people in different configurations and where you want to put them on the screen. However, if you're actually planning to do the editing after the fact, you may want to be able to have all of the recordings separate from each other. And to do that, there's actually a way in OBS how you can achieve that fairly simple. And that is to go into the preferences of your profile, maybe or ideally create a specific profile for this purpose, go to video and simply change the base canvas as well as the output scale to the double of this. So 10920 times two would be 380, 1080 times two would be 1000, 60. And we can do this exactly the same. As you can see, the aspect ratio is still 16 by 9. We still have 30 frames per second. And with that, I click OK. You can see we now have a much bigger canvas. We can put this frame right here, this frame right there. And we will also have to reset the transform here so that I don't have the crop out. Now I can zoom this one. And ideally, I will just edit the transform. 920, 1080, position is 0, 0, 0, close. For this camera, I would transform, edit transform. And to position the other source, we would actually just enter 10920 and 0. And as you can see, that source would be put into the top right corner. And if you have more sources like that, you can actually just put them on the screen as well. So you have another one in the lower right, uh, lower left hand side, and then the lower right hand side. And this way, you can actually capture all four, in this case, all four sources in full HD quality. And then after the fact, in your editing program, you just put in all four into your program and you make your adjustments there, move them around crop in so that you have certain tracks for each individual source, and then you're good to go. With this, you actually also are able to have the audio capture, uh, audio input source. And for example, choosing the built-in microphone, of course, you would want to choose something else. But now we have the NDI source, which is from Skype. We also have the input capture and with this, we can go into the advanced audio preferences and divide them so that we have one on track two and then the other on the third track. And this is actually something in the recording that you will be able to then also get out of it. If you are going to output advanced audio, set your bit rate. And in the recording, you want to check those boxes for which tracks you want to be part of the recording. And then you have separate tracks for the individual people speaking, 
as well as individual video tracks for the individual people in the stream or in your conference call or whatever. Now going back and actually resetting this to normal 1920 by 1080. Okay, I'm going to also fit this to the screen, cut this again. Now this, what you can see on the screen right now, is a rough version of what you would be able to do with a Skype caller in your call. What you can also have is that on the screen of the person that is calling you, they will also see that you are using an NDI source or an NDI output to record this potentially so that they know about that. And then you have those two things available here. You have the two audio tracks of the individual people. So unmuting myself, as you can see again, there are the inputs and outputs. And this is how you set up Skype for live streaming with OBS and potentially even recording everything in a clean format with the different sources in audio and video. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I may be able to answer them there or potentially make a video about it individually. If you want to have more in-depth consulting with me, you can find my contact information on my website, which is chrisspiegel.com and also linked in the description below. Now, with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day. Make your Skype interviews, live streams the best that they can be, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.